Welcome back to Power and Politics. Math lessons in Ontario schools are going back to the basics. That's how the Ford government is describing its new math curriculum for students in grades 1 to 8 starting this fall. They'll now learn things like how to set a budget or make an e-transfer or calculate an interest rate. The opposition, though, says the timing of it all is irresponsible. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick has more details for us. She joins us from Queen's Park in Toronto. Hey, Megan, good to see you again. Hey. Take us through the new curriculum. What exactly is different? So it's a curriculum for grades one to eight, elementary school students only, and the new curriculum is going to introduce some concepts for the first time, like coding, for example, and a big emphasis on financial literacy too, where um, young people are going to learn about saving and spending and debt and things like that. And uh, Stephen Lecce, the education minister, also saying it's going to go back to basics in terms of memorizing times tables, for example. They are moving away from the old curriculum, which some referred to as discovery math, a different approach to learning. And the Ford government saying uh, simply that the curriculum needed to be updated. It hasn't been updated in 15 years. And uh, one of the motivating factors for this overhaul was also uh, standardized test results for math in this province as well. They are too low, according to the government, and they wanted to address that. So they have been working on this overhaul essentially since the Ford government got elected two years ago, unveiling it today. And they were questioned about the timing of this given all the other changes that are coming to education because of the pandemic, uh, which is of course presenting a number of challenges and teachers and school boards have a lot of work to do over the summer to prepare for September. And now teachers grade eight, ones to eight, having to learn a new math curriculum. Here's what Stephen Lecce said about that. We are of course cognizant of the environment we're in, but we also uh, appreciate there's an, there's an imperative globally uh, and provincially for us to move forward with a plan that reflects that modernization. And that's why, you know, to be fair, the curriculum that existed in 2005, you know, lots changed since 2005. I mean, YouTube was just launched in 2005. You know, Xbox 360 was just unveiled in 2005. A lot has changed. So despite the challenges that uh, schools are already facing, the, the minister saying that uh, really they can't afford to wait or put this off. And he was promising that teachers will get the support they need to learn this new curriculum, including webinars and other professional development. But really, Vashi, they don't have a lot of time to get up to speed on this new curriculum that they are expected to teach in September. And how is that going over with teachers? What kind of reaction are you hearing? Well, one of the unions that represents public elementary school teachers in this province put out a statement quite quickly uh, saying they're not opposed to improvements to the curriculum, but they are opposed to the timeline for this. Uh, they're saying that the learning conditions for students and teachers are already stressful uh, because of the pandemic and that they want more flexibility and time and resources to prepare for this implementation. So they're asking for a two year timeline instead of a two month timeline. But based on what the minister was saying today, Vashi doesn't look like they'll get what they want. Okay, thanks, Megan. Appreciate all that information. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick for us.